Hi friends, in this video we will see uh, how to save or alter the running configuration. The device configuration is stored in two system files such as startup config and running config. First of all we will see startup config. The file stored in non-volatile random access memory that is NVRAM uh, is nothing but the startup config and it contains all of the commands that will be used by the device upon startup or a reboot. NVRAM does not lose its contents when the device is powered off. Yes, that's why we call it as NVRAM, non-volatile RAM. And coming to running config, the file stored in random access memory, that is a RAM, uh, commonly we say running config, it reflects the current configuration Modifying a running configuration affects the operation of a Cisco device immediately. RAM is a volatile memory. It loses all of its contents uh, when the device is powered off or restarted. So we can say it's a volatile RAM. Right, so we can use a show running config command to view the running configuration file that is the RAM content. So we have to go to the privileged exit mode and we have to give the command show running config. Also we can use show startup config command to view the startup configuration file uh, that is the nvram content. Uh, the same uh, privileged exit mode we have to give the show command uh, show startup config. Okay we will go to our Cisco packet tracer and we will uh, see this uh, show commands. Uh, here we will use a router 2911. Also we will use a switch. 2960 series. First of all, we will go to our router CLI and uh, here it says uh, system configuration dialog. Conf uh, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? We will give no. We will go to uh, e a privileged exit mode. We will give here enable. First of all, we will give the show command. Uh, we will uh, see the contents of the RAM. We have to give the show command show running config. We'll put question mark and we can see that running config. Here we can see current operating configuration. Right, so we will give that show running config. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the default host name, all the interfaces uh, in this router. Line console, line VTY. Now we will verify our uh, uh, startup config. This is a new router what we kept in our workspace. So there is no content in the NVRAM. So we can verify that uh, using the command. Uh, show startup config press enter and here we can see startup config is not present if we want to see this uh, uh, startup config content uh, we have to copy uh, from RAM to NVRAM uh, we will see that uh, uh, within a couple of moments In the same way we will go to our switch and we can verify uh, RAM and NVRAM so press return to get started, enable, here we can give that command, show running config. And here we can see the details, all the interfaces, right. Also we can give show startup config and here we can see startup config is not present. Right, uh, we know that all the configuration uh, changes will affect the RAM. So uh, if power lost or the device is uh, restarted, all configuration will be lost unless we save our configuration. So to save our configuration from running config to startup config, uh, that means uh, from RAM to uh, NVRAM, uh, we can uh, use this uh, command. In privileged exit mode, we have to give uh, copy space running config space startup config that means uh, we are uh, copying from RAM to NVRAM 
we will see that how to copy from running config to startup config so coming to our router cli so already we have seen the content of our ram so we are going to uh, copy this uh, ram content to our nvram so here we can use the command copy running config startup config then press enter uh, destination file name uh, here uh, they ask for the uh, default file name that is a startup config uh, we will give this a uh, default file name so we have to press enter building configuration okay now it's saved now all the contents from our ram saved to nvram now we will see uh, the contents of our uh, nvram using the show command show startup config and here we can see the same contents so what we copied from the ram next we will see uh, alter the running configuration consider we made some changes to the running configuration that is in the ram and the running config file has not yet been saved then we can restore the device to its previous configuration by reloading the device okay right we will uh, see that using our cisco packet tracer so here we will uh, make a, a small change suppose uh, here we are going to set the host name so we will go to global configuration mode configure terminal and we will set the host name as r1 so here we can see now uh, the host name changed from a router to r1 now we want to see the contents of uh, ram and nvram so first of all we will uh, see the content of uh, ram we'll press ctrl z show running config coming to the host name here we can see in ram its a host name is r1 okay right so we will go to uh, show startup config and here we can see the host name is rural so here we can see whenever the changes happens uh, that will be stored in the ram and if you want to uh, store it permanently in nvram uh, we have to uh, use the command uh, copy running config startup config now here we are not going to save from a ram to nvram and we want to uh, reset to uh, the previous state that means uh, previously this uh, router name uh, was uh, router now it's r1 so we want to bring it back to its previous state uh, the name as a uh, router for that we have to uh, reload our router uh, so that all the contents from ram will be erased now we will give the command to reload then we will press enter here we can see system configuration has been modified save no here we not want to save so we will give no what happens if we give yes so all the contents from ram will be saved to nvram so here we will give no then we will press enter proceed with the reload confirm yes confirm so we will press enter again so now this device is already starting press return to get started so once we press enter what will be the uh, router host name it will be obviously router so here we can see that so always uh, one thing keep in mind uh, whenever we do some configuration we must save uh, from a ram to nvram otherwise what happens whenever power goes or we restart the device uh, all the contents from ram will be erased next is erase startup config suppose we made unnecessary changes and save to the startup config and it may be necessary to remove all the configuration from nvram uh, to do that we have to erase the startup config and restart the device right we will see that uh, how to erase a startup config uh, we will do uh, some basic configuration here uh, suppose uh, enable configure terminal here we will uh, uh, set the host name as r1 also we will uh, enable the password as cisco then we will uh, copy 
from uh, our RAM that is running config to startup config destination file name okay the default name now we can verify it using show running config and here we can see the password as well as the host name same way we can configure uh, sorry uh, we can uh, verify in our uh, startup config it saved host name r1 password cisco here if you reload the device uh, all the configuration uh, will be lost no obviously not because we saved from a ram to nv ram then how we will reset our device obviously we can erase the contents of a nv ram uh, we have the command erase here we can see that erase a file system we will give a erase here we can erase a startup config erase the contents of a configuration memory so here we will give a startup config then we will press enter so uh, it confirming erasing the nvram file system will remove all configuration files so already configured uh, host name as well as the password okay let it erase so we will press enter again now just we will see the contents of the nvram using the show command show startup config so here we can see startup config is not present because we erased but still here we can see the host name shows as r1 we can verify that uh, using the show command we will see the contents of ram uh, show running config and here we can see uh, the host name is r1 and the password is cisco so uh, we have to restart our router here we will give a reload proceed with the reload confirm yes so system configuration dialog would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog no now we are going to press enter so and we will see the host name here we can see now it shows the default uh, host name as a router right so in this video we have seen how to save uh, or alter the running configuration dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends and if you are watching my channel first time or not yet subscribed consider subscribing also don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification whenever I upload a new video. So stay tuned. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.